Welcome back to another episode of Wedding Day Match. Today, we'll be talking about the very popular choice some may say two popular drink choice at weddings. Espresso martinis, of course. In case you didn't know, espresso martinis are the life of a party. They're the perfect drink of choice for evening wedding receptions and parties. And if you need more convincing, celebrities are getting in on this trend too. In fact, Joey King just got married and served espresso martinis at her wedding. So what is an espresso martini? It's pretty simple. Just a blend of freshly brewed espresso, coffee liqueur, and vodka. So now you know what it is if you didn't before. You already know it's trending. Celebrities are having it at their weddings. There's only one thing left. Figuring out how to incorporate it into your wedding. One idea is with an espresso martini tower. Forget a champagne tower, though they are totally cool. You can have an espresso martini tower. Coffee lovers unite, because this tower is glamorous, insta-worthy, and keeps you caffeinated. I don't know about you, but I can't rock a dance floor unless I'm highly caffeinated. I'm literally a baby, Lorelei. Gilmore Girls reference, by the way, and the vodka doesn't hurt either. Idea number two is an espresso martini dessert bar. What the heck is that? Okay, so hear me out. I saw it on Instagram. They were dubbed a chalk espresso martini, and I'm dubbing it chocolate with coffee with booze. So basically, heaven. Third idea are espresso martini shots. Have these bad boys passed around on the dance floor and your guests are going to love you. We're even talking about your mother-in-law. Unless she's a tea lover and a coffee hater, then maybe don't serve espresso martinis. Fourth idea is an espresso martini bar. A bar that serves espresso martinis at the cocktail hour. That's pretty neat, right? Fifth and last idea is an espresso martini signature drink. Then again, if you're sticking with tradition, then having it as your signature drink may just be the way to go. And good for you for sticking with tradition. I do it myself, but I'm the least bit traditional. And naturally now all I can think about is coffee, so that's a wrap for today because I'm going to go grab a cup. You know what it's fall. So I think I'll grab a pumpkin latte instead. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Wedding Day Match. And if you did, please give us five stars, leave us a review, and make sure you're subscribed. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you want more fashion, beauty, or planning tips and advice, Make sure to go to WeddingDayMatch.com where we have more expert advice, real wedding stories, and our magazine, Celebrate Weddings. Don't forget to tune in to our next episode next Tuesday. Kisses and talk soon.